The latest addition here at Moavi Game Reserve uh, is the solar panel system that you can see over my left shoulder. This supplies a 24 volt power supply to our borehole which is equipped with the borehole pump. Uh, that in turn supplies uh, water to our natural water hole just behind me. The game in the area come through to the water hole to drink water early mornings and late afternoons. This is very important to us, especially over the winter months when uh, the natural water holes in the reserve do dry up because of lack of rains. We're encouraging the game to actually stay in the reserve by supplying them with this artificial water um, because in the winter months when there isn't sufficient water the game do move out of the reserve and this is where we get conflicts between the local community and the game um, that is naturally found here at Mwavi Game Reserve. Okay, this is our, our borehole system. Um, it's been capped. Uh, capping is basically putting the concrete stu structure around the top. This uh, unit pumps out about 8,000 liters of water per day into our water hole, which is located about 40 uh, meters from the actual borehole itself. This complete system will cost us around about six to seven thousand pounds. What we have here is a trail camera. Um, what it allows us to do is uh, it works on a motion sensor. You do get variations of this, either motion sensor or laser beam. Uh, this specific one works on motion sensor. We locate it um, nearby to the water hole. We set it up. Um, how we do that is we actually open the camera up. All the settings are on the inside. You've got an LCD uh, display which displays recent taken photographs. Uh, you've got a distance control which allows you to, to either take pictures of something nearby or, or further away. Um, and then uh, we basically switch it on. Uh, this specific camera can either take still photographs, um, one still photograph, um, or it can take bursts of up to seven still photographs at a time. Alternatively you can set it, set it to video camera and it will take up to 30 seconds of video footage. Um, we just set it for individual still photographs. So uh, in our research that we do, uh, we can determine what animals and when uh, they come to the waterhole, as each photograph uh, has the date and the time uh, the photograph was taken. This little gadget um, is very, very important to us. Um, it allows us to do continuous research in a specific area. We can set this camera up and monitor an area over uh, a two and sometimes a four week period uh, without having to actually go into that area. Uh, the way we've constructed these water holes is instead of making one big water hole, uh, we've split them up into four smaller ones, each one feeding each other. Uh, this allows us to increase the variety of game uh, that drink at the water hole at any one time. Certain game won't drink while other game are drinking, um, whereas if we spread the water out over a larger distance, um, they will obviously come through and, and drink at these, at these water holes at the same time. Right, what we have here is a homemade gin trap um, made by the locals. Uh, very ugly looking um, and can do a lot of damage to an animal if he puts his foot in there. What will happen is the animal will walk along. Um, a hole is constructed or dug out of the ground. The trap is actually put into the hole and covered with some leaves. The animal will come along, put his foot on this steel plate here 
and we'll set the trap off, uh, which will close around uh, the leg, uh, normally shattering the bone or severing the bone off completely. If it does manage to uh, lock onto the leg, um, the animal will not be able to move away because of the wire which is attached to this piece of wood. Uh, this piece of wood is then dragged by the animal, um, which creates a um, what we call a drag line, uh, which is easy for the poacher to follow. The second use that this piece of wood has is that it may wedge itself uh, between another piece of undergrowth and the animal will not be able to move at all. Uh, this trap, trap does not kill the animal. Um, it just uh, dies a very slow death. A uh, very inhumane way of, of catching or killing animals in the reserve.